I'm what? Hey what's up guys, welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to try and find the controller that will double my edit speed. So as a lot of you may know, I have reviewed a bunch of controllers on my channel, including the Scuf, Xbox Elite, Astro C40, and Razer Raju. So I'll be putting all these controllers to the test to see which one will make me edit the fastest. But just before the video starts, if we could try and aim for 10,000 likes on this video, that'd be awesome. As well as if you do want to support me that little bit more, you can use code FLEA in the item shop. I'd really appreciate it. Anyway, my name is Flea and let's get right into it. Alrighty, and we just hopped into creative, so I'm just going to put in my edit map code. Flea's Editing Dictionary V2. By the way guys, I just posted this video, so if you haven't checked out this map, I highly recommend you do. It's going to use code Flea and start the game. Alright, and this is my brand new edit map that probably a lot of you have seen. So I actually added a custom crosshair on here. So I just turned the custom crosshair button on and changed my HUD size. HUD size around about 74% should be perfect, as you can see that dot is in the middle of my screen. And in this map you can also change the background. And I'm just going to start off on the standard PS4 controller, one Galaxy Control Freak, I got trigger stoppers as well as grips. So first off, standard PS4 controller, let's see how I go. Alright, so as you can see, I've kind of got the hang of editing on my standard PS4 controller. So now I'm going to try some other controllers to see if I can notice a difference. And as you can see, I'm now on the Astro C40, so I have the trigger stoppers on. And I really like the bumpers and triggers of the Astro. Alright, let's try editing with this Astro C40, so it's going to take a while to get used to. Yeah. This feels good, wow, this feels really good. The buttons on the Astro C40 are just a lot like harder to click and they feel a lot more stable. As well as I have those trigger stoppers on. Yeah, man, this feels really good. Yeah, okay, that, that seems pretty fast to me. Well, I just realized I had sound effects off this whole time so you couldn't hear anything. The Astro C40 definitely feels a lot better to edit with than the standard DualShock 4. Next up, I'll try the SCUF controller. Alright, and here we have the Notorious SCUF controller. It's just a standard SCUF controller, 4PS Pro with trigger stoppers, two paddles, and one Galaxy Control Freak. Alright, and here we are back on the scarf. So this is kind of like a normal PS4 controller, so I should be pretty good on this. Not bad, this actually feels really good. I really like it. I'm, what? Okay, that is something I couldn't do on my other controller. Is the scuff better than the standard controller? It does feel like it has a better response time. I'm just gonna go ahead and test my double edit speed. Try and get it as fast as possible on a scuff. Wow. 
Ooh, ooh, ooh. I've had some fun on the scarf. I really enjoyed it. Now let's try the Razor Raju. All right, so it's been a while since I set up the Razor Raju and I actually forgot how to set it up. As you can see, it's just not working at all. It definitely has the best buttons out of all the controllers because just listen to these buttons here. They sound like mouse clicks. Even the action buttons. It all sounds like such good buttons. But I'm gonna make a video on it soon anyway, so you'll see it then. Instead of the Razer Raju, I'm gonna be trying the Xbox controller. Okay, the Xbox controllers definitely have the like lightest and most sensitive analog stick. So you definitely need control freaks in order to control the Xbox controller. Like just look at this, ready? Like <laughs> I can just whip my analog stick and it like edits. That is so cool. So it's so like fast and sensitive. Is that, is the Xbox controller my new favorite controller? Whoa, that feels so good. Man, if this is what the Xbox controller feels like, I can't wait to try the Elite next. That's, uh, that's really impressive for the Xbox controller. The Xbox controller was a lot better than expected. Now it's time to try what you've all been waiting for. Oh man, yeah, this is by far. Yeah, this is by far the best feeling controller out of all of them. I'm gonna turn the trigger stoppers down to the lowest. Oh yeah, let's add it. Yeah, the Elite is by far the best, man. The trigger stoppers are just so good. All right, time to put double edits to the test. This Xbox Elite is literally making quad edits look easy. If you are interested in seeing a seven day claw to paddles progression video, definitely let me know in the comments. All right, and the Xbox Elite definitely wins because it does have an ultra low trigger stopper option. So if I bump it all the way up, the trigger goes all the way in. And if I drop it all the way down, the trigger like barely moves. That's literally as far as it goes. The Elite definitely wins. It is by far the best controller. Don't forget to check out this editing map because it is a really good map. If you do want to customize your environment as well as have every edit in the game. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.